how are you? I'm doing well. You're going to be on a cruise ship off the coast of Alaska. Yeah, so people are going, oh, you're taking a cruise, how do, right? How do, I yeah. go, how do I get involved? How, you, well, you just get to be a good science teacher. Okay. Maybe there's, right. there's 100 science teachers. We thought about this four years ago, really put the plan into action two years ago. As soon as the uh, the people at Carnival Cruise Ship saw some of the video from Nine News, they okay. said there's absolutely no way you're doing anything on our cruise ship. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right. You're not bringing <laughs> glue. There'll be, there'll be diet soda everywhere. Yeah. They and they're very serious. So, so of course, I'm a physical science guy. I'm a goopy kind of slime, you know, yeah, reaction. Sure fit. you are. Yeah. And, uh, and this is life science. I don't do a lot of that, but we have a wonderful group of teachers that need that kind of thing. So we teamed up with Carnival and with AAA and, and found naturalists in Alaska, and we're going to Alaska. So we're going to work the inside passage and kind of work our way down, which is really, really cool. Oh, sounds like a great yeah. trip. And you're going to be using this goop to well, look at simulate this. glaciers, you Well, said? yeah, look at this. This is glue and water oh, uh, okay. and boring. And so if you take oh. Elmer's glue and you mix a little borax, have you ever played with this before? It's like slime. Mm, maybe a long you time see, ago. There you oh, go. My, oh, now, oh see, now th this it, is perfect. It. No, no, that's oh, good. Okay. Look at this. Here I thought I see, broke it. No, no. <laughs> this is called a shear factor. See this? Mm -hmm. This will actually, this is a non-Newtonian fluid. And you see how this broke? When you take this and you pull it like this and it breaks, it has a shear factor. And that's exactly what a glacier does under its own weight. It will have a, a little crevice there. With all that weight kind of pushing down, you'll actually see a glacier kind of put in and it'll start to crack away. However, water can also also be like a plastic and can mold itself. So look at this. We've kind of simulated the glacier using uh, the two different colors that are here. And notice how it flows. Yeah. That water is flowing. So when we're looking at recession or the advancement there of, of the glacier, we want our teachers standing on that glacier. We want them looking at it. We want a naturalist saying, this is what we need to do to kind of help uh, cut that recession back and, and to make sure that, uh, that those glaciers are there for, for a long, long time. And this is something that would be so easy for the teachers to make in their own classrooms oh, with yeah. simple materials and not a lot of time. We want them to to be able to uh, come back with the story. We mm -hmm. want the real pictures there. These teachers are Twittering as well. So we're going to oh, give wow. you all the information. And I guess the most exciting thing is we're going to try to Skype in. Right. All right? Gonna, you're going to join us yes. this Friday. Yes. So from the from the middle of the ocean, we're going to see if the satellites will align and all everything right. else. And, and I don't know, you'll see this kind of stuttered look, but we're going to show you the, the glacier. So we'll go from this model with borax and glue to a real glacier. And hopefully we get some capping so we can show right. you some of the cool things. That well, are there. hey, have a great trip and uh, good luck. Thank you. The, Thank you. Teaching the teachers up there. You got and it. we look forward to hopefully seeing you uh, on the internet on Friday. <laughs>